everyone welcome to smile kids channel now let's take a quiz on air and water part 2 so let's get started question number 1 the layer of atmosphere where weather changes takes place in options are thermosphere troposphere exosphere and mesosphere your time starts now Your time is up. The right answer is troposphere. The layer of atmosphere where weather changes takes place is troposphere. Question number 2. Nitrogen is present in abundant amount about 10% in atmosphere. Options are 59, 64, 78 and 86. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is 78. Nitrogen is present in a net amount about 78% in atmosphere. Question number 3. Dash is important to plants but cannot be taken directly from atmosphere. Options are oxygen, nitrogen, hydrogen and helium. Your time starts now. Your The right answer is nitrogen. Nitrogen is important to plants but cannot be taken directly from atmosphere. Question number 4. What are soluble impurities? Options are which does not dissolve in water, which dissolve in water, can't say and none. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is which dissolve in water. Question number 5. The dash layer absorbs harmful radiations from sun and prevents them from reaching earth's surface. Options are thermosphere, troposphere, exosphere and ozone. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is ozone. The ozone layer absorbs harmful radiations from sun and prevents them from reaching Earth's surface. Question number 6. We can boil water or we can add dash or use purifiers to purify water. Options are cold water, chlorine, mercury and none. 
your time starts now your time is up the right answer is chlorine we can boil water or we can add chlorine or use purifiers to purify water question number 7 air contains 21% of options are oxygen nitrogen helium and hydrogen your time starts now Your time is up. The right answer is oxygen. Air contains twenty-one percent of oxygen. Question number eight: Impurities that do not get dissolved are called as impurities. Options are soluble, insoluble, both A and B, and none. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is insoluble. Impurities that do not get dissolved are called insoluble impurities. Question number nine: Which is the closest layer to Earth's surface? Options are troposphere, exosphere, thermosphere, and mesosphere. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is troposphere. Troposphere is the closest layer to Earth's surface. Question number ten. Which is the coldest layer among the layers? Options are troposphere, exosphere, thermosphere, and mesosphere. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is mesosphere. Mesosphere is the coldest layer among all the layers. Question number eleven. The process of separating solid particles from a liquid using filter paper is called. Options are distillation. Sedimentation, filtration, and decantation. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is filtration. The process of separating solid particles from a liquid using filter paper is called filtration. Question number 
soluble impurities are removed by options are evaporation distillation both a and b and none your time starts now The right answer is both A and B. Soluble impurities are removed by both evaporation and distillation. Question number 13. The process of adding oxygen to water during water purification process is absence and Chlorination, filtration, distillation and aeration. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is aeration. The process of adding oxygen to water during water purification process is aeration. Question number 14. Diseases produced by germs in water are called as diseases. Options are waterborne diseases, water germs diseases, non-communicable diseases, germ bone diseases. Your time starts now. Your time is up. The right answer is waterborne diseases. Diseases produced by germs in water are called waterborne diseases. Question number 15. Insoluble impurities can be removed by options are filtration, decantation, sedimentation, and all of these. Your time is that's enough. Your time is up. The right answer is all of these. Insoluble impurities can be removed by filtration decantation and sedimentation. Thank you. Hope you like this video. If you find this helpful, do like, share, comment and for all the more updates on all the learning needs, subscribe our channel Smiley Kids and do not forget to click on the bell icon for all the updates and watch our other videos.